What's up guys, it's your girl Tati and in this video we're going to be talking all about SZA. I love SZA's style, I love her fits, I love her voice. So I was like, why not do a little SZA inspired video, you know what I'm saying? So in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to achieve hair like SZA, talk a little bit about her makeup and then also some SZA like fits. So let's get started. So. SZA's hair is always very big, it's always very, it's not very like neat, which I love. Like I don't really like very neat hair, I like it to be kind of, especially when it comes to curly hair, I like when your hair looks kind of messy, frizzy, because I just feel like it just gives it a more natural look and I just feel like SZA just gives a very natural, earthy, you know, nature vibes, you feel me? To accomplish like a SZA-like hair, I saw this on another person's video, I'll link it in the description box, she did a video like this too. I bought this Outre Quick Weave. It's in the style of Shani, and I get the color 1B because that's like just my hair color. And I haven't even like taken this out of the box. Don't know what it's gonna look like. So hopefully this turns out right. It will. So let's take it out of the package and see what it looks like. So this is what it looks like straight out of the box. The curls are very nice. The hair is actually really soft. And this isn't this isn't real human hair because I was not paying for that. Um, this is a synthetic wig, but the hair is actually very soft. You can even like run your fingers through it, of course. I don't want to do it too much because, you know, I want to see how it looks when I put it on my head first. But, yeah, um, the curls, they are giving me SZA, you know. Especially when, like, I comb it out more, it'll give me even more SZA like. So, let's put this on our head and see what it does. Alright, so I have it on right now. It may look a little crazy, but, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna try to get this together. Um, the half wig ends about right here. It's fully covering the back of my head. So I'm gonna unclip my real hair. My hair texture just does not match this hair texture at all. I'm type four and this is like, I don't even know. I don't, I have no experience with the other hair types. So I don't really know what hair type this is, but it's not type four. All right, so now that it's on, I'm going to create a little like bang to help, first of all, minimize this forehead. That's number one. And number two, SZA always has to, you know, like her little bangs. So we're going to do that. So what I'm going to do is take some hair from this little um, section of the wig right here. And I'm going to bring it to the front of my head. And I'm just going to start like placing it how I want it to be. Because it's, this wig is curly, so the curls keep like bouncing up. But I need it to stay together in order to cut it. I'm just going to pin it down. So I can really get a good look when I'm cutting it. Again, let me let me go to the mirror. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it a little longer than I actually need it to be, just so I have enough breathing room. And watch this still be watch it be short. I'm gonna be so tight. Okay, <gasps> I'm scared. We're doing it. We're doing it. It's done. Now the trick is how are we gonna get this even. Okay. That's about right. All right. I look a mess. All right, so I made a few changes. Instead of having some of my hair out around the perimeter, I actually just put it back all under the wig cap and I pulled the half wig all the way towards the front of my head. Once you, if you get this, and once you take out the straps from the back, the wig is big enough to fit over your whole head. But again, it doesn't have that lace front parting. So you can't really wear it as a lace front, but what I'm going to do is create the bang to kind of like blend it in a little better. So the way I plan on cutting this is I plan on keeping this kind of like short and then the sides just a little bit shorter to have like this kind of like U shape going on. This is so difficult to film. Oh my God. How did these people do it? So I cut the hair off camera because it was just too difficult to do on camera. But anyways, this is the hair so far. I'm still not done yet because I'm trying to not look like Rick James and look more like SZA. You know what I'm saying? I'm not liking this. I'm not feeling it. I think if I cut this section shorter and also the bottom shorter, but I don't want it to be too short because SZA here is kind of long. So maybe if I cut like, just cut the middle section up to like right here. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'm gonna cut it like there. Just to give it this like kind of layered diagonal look. So let's do that. Off camera again. 
But this is the non-cut side and then this is the cut side. Even with a little bit of hair that I just cut off on this side, you can just see a lot more volume. And this is just kind of like flat. It's just very blah. So I'm going to cut the hair in a diagonal motion like this up to this length right here. Okay, so we're back. <laughs> Y'all don't understand the trials and tribulations. So as you can tell, I look like a brand new person. I just did my edges. These are my real edges right here. Yeah, I just did my edges real quick, you know, boop, boop, boop. And then I just brushed the wig out. The plan was to have like full bangs across making like a U. So I just cut the bangs and then I just like parted them at the side, put some here, put some here, and I just brushed out the hair. And, and this still gives me scissor vibes. Like it gives me her blown out, kinky, straight, wavy type vibe. You feel me? So this is the final look. Moving on to talking a little bit about scissors makeup she usually has a very natural face she has you know highlight contour she does do eyeliner and a kind of dramatic lash my lashes aren't like super dramatic but you know they're there but she sometimes does these like freckles across her cheeks so we're gonna recreate that for the freckles i'm just dipping into my anastasia beverly hills contour palette i'm dipping into the dark brown color and i'm just gonna take this eyeliner brush to dot the freckles on my face and I'm not going to put a lot, just like a little bit, not too much. Boom. Don't know what I just did. And she also has like these um, moles on like around her lips. Let's see where she puts some. There's one on her chin and then there's one like on top of her lip. So let's do that. Let's do that. Right here. I need to look in the mirror for this. Hold on. Boom! So there's the one on top of my lip too. I wonder if these look mad fake, but whatever. It's inspo, okay? And then I'm just gonna set the beauty marks that I made with some translucent powder just so like they don't move too much. And I'm just kind of going like this. And SZA also does like an inner corner um, highlight. So I'm just going into my highlight and contour palette. This is the Sephora um, Spice Market palette. I love this thing. And I'm just dipping into the gold highlight color, you know. Then I'm taking this inner corner brush, and I'm just gonna put some gold highlight in my inner corners. I'm just going in and adding highlights to other places on my face that I usually put it, cause why not? We're already here, right? I'm just gonna go in and um, reapply some lipstick using Max antique velvet matte lipstick i'm just using a brush to take out you know whatever is in there and then i just go over that with some lip gloss this um like pinkish this very like natural pink brownish type of color um this is actually from bath and body works yeah my mom just gave it to me so i just use it and it's really good this is the um mentha shimmerman it's a very nice nude lip gloss now outfit this style is actually like very similar to my own it, to me her style is all about being like comfortable and it's still like casual but she has a pop out like here and there you feel me to me she wears a lot of like oversized shirts mom jeans baggy sweats and sneakers um one thing that she does a lot is she wears like big baggy t-shirts and some sneakers and i think it's really cute it's really casual i saw this picture on pinterest of this outfit that sister had on and i had something very similar like that in my closet so i was like you know what this is what we're gonna recreate. She's wearing a very vibrant green shirt and it has like a sun on it because you know, this is all about the earth and earthy vibes, you feel me? And then she looks like she just has on a pair of mom jeans. So this is what I'm gonna try to recreate today. For the fit, I just have this very bright green um, sublime t-shirt that I got from PacSun. I got this in a size large because I like my t-shirts to fit me big. I don't like them to fit me very tight fitted. And then, like I said, she just wore it with a pair of mom jeans. And I got these from a thrift store for probably like 5 or $8. They're Levi's, you know, classics. I'm going to show you guys one more outfit that I feel like would be very like SZA-esque. Um, it would be an all denim look. I feel like an all denim look is a very classic look. And I feel like I've seen her like have that on before. For this look, I'm just going to start off with this multi-patched uh, denim jogger that I got from the Day by Zendaya collection a few years ago. Unfortunately, I don't think she's ever like put out any new clothing after she dropped this line. Hopefully she does in the future. 
but if you don't have like a multi patch jean or this exact jean of course you can just use the regular mom jeans that I showed you in the look before and then I'm just going to pair this bottom with this thrifted button up denim shirt that I got So that's the end of this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you stuck through the struggles with me through this video, I appreciate you. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.